very pleasant surprise today. I was not expecting this, but that's fun because now I get to show you guys this in this video. My navy flannel jacket showed up, so check this out. Pretty sweet. So like we talked about in the design video, we went with a three rolls two stance, patch pockets, notch lapels. Now those are a little bit narrower than what I have been doing in the past and the only reason for that is because some of the stuff I've done over the last couple years has been really wide and this, I want it to be a little bit more timeless as opposed to just right in the now, especially because the fit is a lot fuller. Uh, or at least I expect it to be. We'll see how it looks once I get it on. But yeah, a little bit narrower than what I have been doing, but certainly still a substantial lapel. Yeah, there's definitely not anything kind of wimpy or baby about that. Uh, full canvas and then half lined, which is sweet. And then there are uh, no shoulder, there's no shoulder construction or anything in there. It's even got my name on it. Sure love that. Okay, now that's the easy stuff. The moment of truth, let's see how this thing fits. get the full effect of what this is actually gonna look like I got to tell you guys that I mean there's some wrinkles on here this just got shipped from over in Portugal it's gonna take a little bit so I'm gonna try it on I want to get kind of an initial assessment but I'm gonna leave it hanging up for a few hours I'm gonna hit it really quickly with the steamer after that just to get out some of those I may end up needing to press the sleeves I doubt it because it's flannel but we're gonna do an initial assessment and then after a few hours once it's had a chance to really kind of open it up then we'll see what it looks like from there to pop those basting threads out of the vents so we can see how that drapes. Still a little bit of pop through there, but it's not nearly as bad as it had been on previous jackets. And again, that's good because like I've said before, this is a process, so we're gonna continue to fine tune. And really with this, I started over with a completely different base size. Like I basically started over from scratch on this and so there are a few things that I think I may end up needing to tweak just a little bit further. Yeah, the sleeves are a little long. I mean, if I were to wear my cuffs a little bit looser like a lot of you guys probably do, then it would hang out just a nudge, but I wear mine a little bit tighter so that they fall right here kind of at the break of my wrist and so when I'm standing normally, then I'm not really getting a whole lot of cuff that's showing. Some guys would say that's good, other guys would say that that's a little bit too long. I haven't decided yet. And then the big thing that we did as far as correcting the posture, I'm gonna have to check the footage and see. But you guys tell me, does this look cleaner back here? Uh, one thing though that that did the, do is I've got my sloped shoulders and I think I have just the little tiniest bit of collar gap up in there. Yeah. So anyway, this is pretty dang good, especially because a lot of this stuff may actually end up just kind of working itself out and falling out after I've had a chance to steam it and let it start to memorize me a little bit, even with the canvas. We'll call this part one and then we'll come back in a few hours and see how it looks for part two. See if this is any better now that I've had a chance to let it sit and get it steamed and get those sleeves pressed. So still that little bit of collar gap. I'm not sure how I'm gonna figure out how to fix this, but that's gonna be my next challenge. Now what you've seen with jackets in the past where I had the posture problem, that was actually one attempt to try to fix this because if I go back and I put on my really old jackets, then this collar gap just on the left side was a lot more prominent even than it is now. I broke this collarbone when I was like 14 and so as a result my right shoulder drops more than my left and so it wants to kind of drop this and, and make this sit a little bit funny. Now with my pattern I already compensate for that. I drop the 
armhole on this side about a centimeter lower than I do on this one because I know that naturally that's how my body sits. But what I had been doing in the past was also lengthening the amount of cloth that I had from the small of my back up to the top of my neck in an attempt to get this to fit closer. And that's what led to the problem that I was having before where I would get a lot of bunching right through here and the front quarters would want to stay and I was getting all that wrinkling back through my back because I was giving myself a build like I had this really stooped posture when the reality of it is I have pretty erect posture. And so I'm not sure what the next step is going to be as far as trying to address this little thing. Okay, before I let you go, I have just a little amendment. I found that if I didn't actually button up the jacket, then this is gone. There is no collar gap. And so what I'm assuming it is, is the fact that the waist is still just a little bit snug. In fact, you could see that from the angle from behind that there's just a little bit more pull back there than I want. Now I have two options. I can either let it out, which <laughs> if I were one of my clients, that's what I would recommend. But I also know how hard I'm working on dropping the weight and destroying the dad bod. And so I I'm going to be patient and if I don't have the weight dropped off, I'm gonna say in six weeks to the point where that pole is still there, then I'm going to mess with it. But until then, I'm just gonna deal with it again because it's so minimal that unless you're looking for it, you're not gonna see it. And once I get into the right shape, then you're not gonna be able to see it at all because it's not going to exist because I'm not gonna have a fat waist that's actually pulling on this. But all in all, happy with this jacket. It corrects a lot of the problems. And here's the other thing that I want to tell you guys about this. It's really just kind of different. This jacket, the whole design of it is very different than what I've worn in the past. The length of the body is longer. The length of the sleeves are longer. The circumference in the sleeves is fuller. And so this is the farthest away I've ever moved from a really skinny fit. And it's different. Now I've seen it on guys that are friends of mine who wear it incredibly well. And I see them and I see their style and I wanna emulate it and so I decided to go that route with these. And here's the little thing that I'll tell you guys when it comes to trying to do something that's a little bit different. Just because it comes in and you're not sure how you feel about it when you put it on, doesn't mean that it's not right and it doesn't mean that you're not gonna love it at some point. Because right now, I'm going through this, it's not what I'm used to, does that mean it's bad? Because it is, it's longer, it's fuller. I'll tell you as far as from a comfort perspective, it feels fantastic. And if I had the sleeves maybe just a little bit shorter and I had just a little bit of a difference as far as getting rid of this collar gap, I would probably be way more enthused about the other aspects of it. So I'm not sure is basically what it comes down to. And what I wanna tell you guys is just because you're not sure the day of or even a couple of weeks in doesn't mean that it can't be a killer awesome thing. It may be something that you have to kind of warm your way into as opposed to right out of the box, just like, this is fantastic, this is exactly what I wanna do. In fact, you're probably better off if it doesn't feel that way, especially if you're into this as a hobby because that means that you're kind of pushing your own boundaries and you're experimenting with things a little bit and you're pushing yourself out of the comfort zone. But I wanna know what you guys think. Do you like the way that this fits? Uh, had you noticed the collar gap just that tiny bit before I pointed it out? Let me know if you would be wearing something. If you like that things are going longer and fuller and a little bit different, because again, between that and the trousers, which you saw in the last Fit Check video, I'm just, I'm, I'm going fuller on my stuff. And to be honest, I like it, but I think I'm gonna like it more as I get more used to it. Anyway, as always, leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, if you guys are interested in learning more about this elite men's group that I have going on, we just started it this month. I'm not doing signups again until next month, but if you're interested in learning more so that you can jump on when the time is right, check out the link right here. Now, if you wanna learn more about the direction that you should be heading when you start dressing better, take this quiz right here. This is my archetype quiz. It's gonna tell you whether or not you should be something more rugged, refined, or rakish as far as what your style is. And if you wanna follow more of my social media, right here. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I hope you liked the video, and I will catch you on the next one.